Welcome back, everybody. We're on towards. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Right, lots of excitement. We're on. I guess onwards. We go onwards with the story, and we're in King's Landing. So, let's look at that. What's in here? Um, should I be looking at this? Ironwood tree. Brooch. A letter. Oh, let's look at all of them. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. No. Sadness. Ethan made this for me. How oh, cool. How about the coin? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh. Might must be important for later on. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Asher is her one of her older brothers who was exiled. Okay. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Oh. I hope to see them all someday. I don't know, lady. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Sunny with a chance of. Uh... It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. So, does she know about her dad and stuff? I guess she might have heard. Let's get the door. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Well. No, it's fine. Come in. Poor servant boy. I think you're pardon, lady, but you're all right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. It's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. Hmm. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? She did, huh? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... It was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Oh. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. Oh, keep going. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. 
Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Oh? Good night, my lady. Well then, what did they actually say, boy? Lady Marjorie, you're early. Yeah. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Oh, come on in. Come. There's something we must discuss. Or I'll go with you. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I have thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mia. Oh, I should have but you must with not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Well... She was very pleased with herself. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, mm -hmm. that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Darn it, should have told I her. I would ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Well... Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Really? See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Friggin' A. <laughs> no. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Ah, oh, jeez. Good luck. Oh, hello, familiar faces. You can do this. I didn't know Tyrion was in good terms to be at this meeting. That indeed looks like Tyrion Lannister. You can walk faster. Yep, that's him. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh, uh, let's deal. Your Grace. Of course. Girl knows been. her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Well... Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. Well. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. <laughs> Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true King. Well. 
Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Hmm. He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House yeah, Forrester. Of course. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. Being a bit of a cooperative person here. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. Well... She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Well... Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Darn it. Help me out here, buddy. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, Aww. although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I don't particularly like her. Yet you did your best to please. You'll do well here in King's Landing. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such uh, matters. Thank you. The crown needs boats, 
Boats need wood, and I speak for the Crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you well. and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Damn it. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Oh, so slow. First time ever. Too slow to answer something. Say something. Talk, darn it. Uh, that, that went kind of lame. Mira, I was worried. How was it? It's... Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, mm -hmm. here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Mm -hmm. Although, sure. marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey? If it meant you'd become queen, mm, probably not. That's he a does have a question. certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen, you Northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Yeah. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. She's fishing for Sir something. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please, or some perceived slight to smooth over. Yep. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. That's true, but... Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. 
something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. I don't know. It's about my family. I trust her. Okay. We'll see how that ends up. Go on. Please, Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath to see my brother bend the knee. Ramsay? Roos Bolton's bastard. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Yes. That is no small request. Especially now. Mm -hmm. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. Oh. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Um, you're the only one who can help me. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. That's true. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll uh. make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh, it snaps. I hope it goes well. Really hope it goes well.